There's been a lot of rumors going around the last couple days about the runtime of the Batman and now it has been officially confirmed that this movie is indeed three hours long or at least close to it. It's, you know, two hours and 55 minutes, which is literally five minutes away from being three hours, which is insane and officially makes this the longest Batman solo movie of all time, or at least so far. And that is just crazy, which, you know, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, it can be a bad thing because then that's also like, all right, now you have to keep our attention for three hours straight. Uh, but then again, like you look at Avengers Endgame, which is a great example. That movie is almost three hours long, or maybe it was over three hours. I don't even remember for sure. But that that was able to keep our attention that whole time. There was like it was action packed. It had everything going on there, and just based off the trailers for the Batman, this looks like an absolute masterpiece. So I have no doubt that they are going to use this three hour runtime to their advantage. And also, a lot of people have been concerned that they've been showing off too much in the trailers. Well. If there's three hours of a movie here, then maybe they haven't. Maybe there's three hours left that we haven't even seen yet, which I think is great. I think that really is amazing, especially considering like with what you have set up in this movie with a noir style mystery detective side of Batman in this movie with a Zodiac inspired serial killer version of the Riddler and also just this darker, grittier um let's see, uh, Gotham City, plus Bruce Wayne is, like, kind of grappling between Bruce Wayne and Batman and, like, focusing more on the Batman side of things. There's just so much that's going to be explored in this movie that it really does warrant a three-hour runtime, and I'm totally cool with this. Actually, I think it's a great idea because, I mean, with everything that's being set up here, it seems like it's going to be a great movie, so for it to be a three-hour movie, that that's amazing. I think this is going to be great. Um, I'm so excited for this. We're now just a few months away. Um, literally like a week or two from now, we'll be able to say, hey, the Batman comes out next month. Um, March 6th. I'm so excited for it. Guys, the Batman is going to be three hours long or to be more exact, two hours and 55 minutes, but still basically three hours, which is absolutely amazing. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. What do you think about this news that the Batman is officially almost three hours long and will be the longest Batman movie ever? So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it a date on everything goes on in the DC life.